So to make our geologic time scale, we're gonna need some calculator tape, a meter stick. It's very important that it's a meter stick because meters in metric system is base 10. So we go from one all the way to 99 is marked and then 100 is over here. Um, just like centuries are uh, 100 years, centimeters are in hundreds. And so we're going to use this to help us to break our calculator tape up into different periods of time throughout geologic history. Um, I also have here a list of things where um, we have evidence of different organisms sort of appearing in the geologic time scale. Um, and we're going to need some scissors and a pencil. So here's our materials. To start out with, we're going to set the edge of our meter stick on the end of our calculator tape that's cut off nicely. And then I'm going to come down to the end of the meter stick and make a mark, okay? So that mark is our first billion years of geologic time. And I'll make sure that I have five whole meters of my tape marked off one meter at a time. So I'm gonna cut off the edge of the tape and label this as the present. Because it's a gift, right? Okay, so now I need to cruise backwards and label my periods of time. So I'm going to take my meter stick and put it at the zero mark at present, right? And then I'm going to look all the way back that previous one meter. And when I get to the one meter mark, I'm gonna label that one billion years ago. Sometimes people will say BYA if you want to do billion years ago. Oh no, time is rolling on me. And then again, meter stick at the zero mark. And then two billion years ago. And then three billion years ago, and four billion years ago, and five billion years ago at those marks that you had made. We can see here that one meter represents a billion years in our model. Each of these little lines up here, right, is every 10 is going to represent 100 million years. And so we're gonna have 10 sets of 100 million years giving us a billion years. Then the smaller denotations in between each one centimeter mark is going to be 10 million years. So two is 20 million years and three is 30 million years all the way till we get 10 tens is 100 million years. And then finally, we have the smallest little marks, each individual teeny tiny little millimeter, which stands for one million years. So next I'm going to look at, I'm gonna work from oldest to youngest. You could certainly work from youngest to oldest if you wanted to, but here we can see that the formation of Earth 4,600 million years ago. Well, 4,600 million years is 4.6 billion years. Mathematically, right? Mmm, smack, it's so delicious. So, here I have four billion years ago that I'm gonna set the zero spot of my meter stick on, and then I need to go to 4.6. So that's gonna be here. And so at 4.6 billion years ago, B-Y-A, it says Earth formed, okay? The next spot says 4,100 million years ago, which is another say to say 4.1 billion years ago. And so now I'm gonna move to 4.1, do, 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 4.1, and this is when we have the oldest rocks. Kind of a big chunk of time in between the earth being formed and chunks of rocks because it was kind of just an oozing molten ball okay so now it says i need to move to the next one 3500 million years which is 3.5 billion years so i need to go to a completely different set of billions i need to walk my meter stick back to the three million year ago mark to set my zero and now i need 3.5 billion years so that's gonna be right here. And at 3.5 billion years ago, we get the earliest fossil. They're super small, like almost unicellular kind of life. Um, it's algae, algae. Like if you go look at a pond, it's got like a green foamy layer, that is algae. So that's the earliest fossil that we have. It's a fossil of algae, 
3.5 billion years ago, a full more than a billion years after the Earth was formed. That's a pretty long chunk of time. Okay, now we need to move to significant oxygen in the atmosphere. And boy howdy, that's at 1.5 billion years ago. So we need to move way forward in time to 1.5. And here we have 1.5 billion years ago, significant O2. So again, that's a long time. It took two billion years for those algae to make enough oxygen along with other things to get significant oxygen in the atmosphere. Then we see the earliest shelled mammals or animals at 600 million years ago. Well, now this is 0.6 billion years ago. So again, I've got to move way forward in time and the, all of the rest of the work that we're going to do here is going to exist in this final billion years of our timeline so that you can really get an idea of how long the Earth has been around and really the stuff that we like to even think about as happening exists in sort of this final million years. So 0.6 is going to be right here, and that is... 600 MYA. So now we could do million years if we want. First shelled animals. Now, I hope that your pencils are sharpened because it's about to get a little bit more condensed. So the next one is 425 million years ago. So I'm going to cruise over to 42 and a half. So 425 million years ago and we get the first plants. Whoop. Dude, that's crazy, right? And then 400 million years ago. So right here we get trees. And then 300 and 80 million years ago, right? So it'll be 38 and then the zeros because we're dealing in billions here. Now things are going to start getting kind of congested. So you might need to go 38, 380 million years ago, first amphibians. Okay, and then the next one is going to be 36, so 360 million years ago is Pangea. Okay, so you're gonna work down the rest of your list and basically you're going to be working this direction do, 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 until you get all the way down here to this final link. So this final link, you're gonna go to the website and it's going to show you animals that have been on Earth longer than humans. Um, from that, you can see like the hippopotamus has been around 16 million years, and the kangaroo 20 million years, and the hyena 22 million years and 30 million years. And what I want you to do is take the last 100 million years and fill them in with the animals that have lived basically a lot longer than humans. So looking at the timeline that we have here, 2.5 million years ago for humans is gonna be like one, two little slashies, and so humans are gonna go here. And what you're probably gonna find is you're gonna to need to write sideways on a lot of this, okay? Then we also have that it shows that the dinosaurs uh, went extinct at some point about 65 million years ago. So we're gonna to go to 60, that little slashy mark in the middle is five, and then I would write dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago okay then you're also going to have on here um, alligators are 80 so alligators. you have snakes are at 100 
but we have all this space in between here and a lot of animals that have come along in that time. So we're going to use the website you've given. Here we can see hippopotamus is 16 million years. And so we can totally plop some hippo on our timeline um, because that's when they came around. So, M Y A. Um, so you're going to scroll down through this and fill in the animals, like the frog has been around for 265 million years. Um, here we have the turtle, 200 to 300 million years ago. Um, the ant, 140 to 160 million years ago. So you're going to fill these animals in so that the final 100 million years on your timeline has something basically every centimeter um, to show how life sort of got more and more and more complex in this period of time, uh, far more complex than what we see in all of the other periods of time throughout the history of Earth.